Hey guys, so I'm back again with another video. Um, this one, I'm going to be showing the ROM uh, that I'm running. So, go to menu, settings, about phone, and to show you, it is the uh, MVL, sorry, wrong one. What version am I running? Here it is. Jelly Bean ROM uh, 747M3. So we'll do this just to show you, right? And it's running Jelly Bean. So this is a Samsung Galaxy S3 running Jelly Bean. So it's rooted, it's not overclocked, it's running stock. And surprisingly, this thing is getting faster quadrant uh, scores than when I had ICS on it and it was overclocked at 2.1. This thing is, uh, it's nice, it's very fast. So the ROM, just to show you the ROM that I'm running, it's at XDA Developers and I, I will have a, a link. That's what it's called, Drew Garen's Jelly Bean 747 ROM, AT&T Galaxy S3, uh, T-Mobile, it's a T-Mobile leak. And if you click down, so that's the one right here, that's the one I'm running. It's actually uh, Jelly Bean Milestone 3, so it's M3. And it gives you a whole list of all the stuff that uh, it's incorporated in it. So if you click, the, you scroll down to actually download it, it brings you to his website. He's working on version number 4 right now. But uh, there you go again. If you want to go to the site, you have two choices. You can go either there. That's the one I'm running right now. And there's also this one, the Plum. So, if you go back. Get this thing to focus again, okay. So, all right. So this is Jelly Bean. I am run. I'm not. I'm not running the uh, stock UI, as you know from my videos. I like Go Launcher EX. Uh, one thing that does not work with this that I usually use for my text messaging is Handset. Uh, I tried doing the permissions. I tried cleaning up both Delvet Cache, uh, System Cache. Did the permissions reboot, uh, delete all files from the uh, internal memory card reinstall just does not work so I opted to go with go, go SMS Pro which is a uh, it's an I guess native to uh, go launcher go launcher EX so it's very comparable I like it uh, because just like the other one that I usually use uh, you can set a schedule so I like that so this ROM is very quick as you know with Go Launcher, go uh, menu, wallpaper, you can go effect, you can change the different effects, go to cube, see? Inside cube, what else we got? Roll, windmill, uh, I like this one, chariot, right? There's binary star, this is, so there's all kinds. This is why I like this UI. Just you can you can change it up whenever you want. You're not stuck to the pages and pages of just sliding. It reminds me too much of iPhone. That's not a dig. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> so uh, shutter. This is cool. See, go full screen. Let's shutter. And you can also go. I usually like. Oh crap. Where is it? I also like Sphere, which is that. Very cool. So that's really nothing new from any of my other ones. Uh, with this Jelly Bean, it is very customizable. I like it. You can go menu, you can go settings. Uh, what else? I think motion. Actually, no, it's with uh, 
the user interface uh, goal launcher. So you go menu preferences and you got gestures. So I have it set so that uh, the home screen function I uh, have nothing nothing happens when I glide up with my finger it fires up the camera glide down fires up the the, ba the gallery uh, this ROM is also running the gallery from the uh, the Galaxy Note 2 the one that's going to be released next month this is running the software from it it's very cool I'll show you that in a little bit but uh, so this clock everybody always asks that is if you go to the app store or to the uh, play store it's called uh, sense uh, sense analog clock dark uh, when you create the widget you can also set what fields you want uh, when you click the clock or you want to click the time uh, the minutes I click that I have a set so my alarm clock fires up if I click the minutes Oops, if I click the minutes, it fires up the uh, calculator. If you click on the bottom corner, there's where you can set your uh, different um, your colors, the opacity of the background. Change that. Here's where what to launch when I click the hours, what to launch when I click the time. And you can enable the system clock. So that's all down here. I've got 636 megs free. That's my internal memory card. It gives me the temperature. So I like that. So once again to show you uh, when I swipe up from the bottom just do it again. Why isn't it doing it? Oh. So you swipe up from the bottom it fires up the, uh, the camera. If you swipe down it fires up the gallery. So just to show you this is the stock gallery right if you click so this is from the galaxy note 2 that hasn't been released yet it'll be released next uh, next month so this is how it looks I click the back button right albums so that's stock if you click this one this is a, a timeline feature so as you took your pictures or put stuff in it it's a it's a timeline so that's very cool so if you click anything there Let's see, those are videos and stuff. So, like this I took this morning. I was messing around downtown. So I'll go back. Now you can also change it to this. Very cool transition. So if you click anything, you can click that. And I have it set so that it starts up this app, which is MX Player. MX player is the video player for this. I love it because on screen uh, controls on the right hand side, volume, MX player on the left hand side controls that your uh, brightness. If you scroll on the bottom, that's the fast forward. All right, go back, fast forward. And it also has a screen lock. So I like that. If you click this, nothing happens. So you can touch the screen and it's all good. So I like that. Take that off. And you go back. So by default I have the MX player as the default player just for the on screen controls, which I like. Um, just go back. So yeah, uh, let's go back to the effects. I usually like to run Chariot. I like that one. So this is my weather app. You click this, it changes from a graph to the straight text to a five a four day. You click here. This is called Palmary Palmary uh, Weather, and I purchased this because I, I like it. It's a nice app. Click that, it's a two day breakdown of a two day. Here's your 15 day. And weather reports for airports. Ones are Ontario, Detroit City, any anything near you, I guess. So click now, that's what's going on now. So I like that. Uh, this is called business calendar. I also like this because you can go full screen. Uh, on the top left here, if you click that, it just goes to these bars of what's being taken up. If you click T for text, then the text comes up. So 
I like that. If you click it, it goes into the app. And if you, let's say if you click here, it pops up the day, what's going on during the day. So I like that too, that's cool. What else we got? Just nothing there. Um, here's a widget for pictures. You can set it here. If, uh, you can set the preferences. Well, if you click the sprocket, it goes to yeah, preferences. So you can go change the different layout. Five seconds, change it to uh, three seconds. Go back. And you can ch pick whatever album you want also. And uh, away it goes. Google Voice, that's up there. Uh, this is also uh, Go Contacts. I like that. It's cool. So Horizon Ho uh, Action Hobbies, you click that. You can call, you can email them, see their location, which is very cool. Go back, you make the calls, whatever you like. When you start this up, you, you tell it what part of the what part of the uh, thing you want, what part of the what do you call it? What part of your address book that you want to to display? Um, yeah, so there's three docs on the bottom. Uh, you can customize everything there, folders, so there's my Voxer, my contacts, phone, text messaging, yeah, show that already. What else? Email. Integration is very nice of that. Go to my YouTube account, go to my personal, everything's cool there. Folders. If you pinch, you can uh, see all your screens. You can add screens here, see? If you don't like it, long hold. Get rid of that, get rid of that. And you can also long hold and rearrange your screens. Uh, this is green because when I push my home button, it'll go to that page. If I click this, oh crap. If I click this, that green house lights up. Now, if I click my home, that becomes the home screen click this come on now I'll click my home screen it goes to that so I like that let's try Google Voice what's the weather today for Windsor Ontario the forecast for Windsor today is 68 degrees with a chance of rain when's the next game for the Dallas Cowboys Cowboys are playing the Bears on Monday at 8.30 p.m. Very cool. So the integration with Google Voice is very nice. Uh, I actually prefer that over uh, S-Voice. So anyway, that's the ROM I'm running. Oh, I'll do a quick quadrant, uh, but I'm going to pause it in, in between. So let's uh, clear that out. We'll clear out all the apps. And we'll clear out all the memory just to see what it gets. Now this is running with the background on the back so we're gonna fire this up. Uh, start that up. And I'm gonna pause it because I think I'm running out of time. So I'm gonna pause it, let it go, and I'll come back near the end. As you see it's going. Sitting 6061. Okay, I'll come back. Okay, so it's almost done. So we're at 61 frames there. This one is the, usually the biggest, so it's hitting 35. And that's with the live background running in the back too, while that it's on. Let's see what it gets. So this is stock, jelly bean, not overclocked. I'm hoping you can see that. Uh, your device, 6170, 6170. And that's stock, not overclocked. So. Uh, I'm actually waiting to for the overclockable uh, kernel so we can see how much this will go. Now, if you look at my other video when I was running ICS and overclocked to 2.1, I was uh, I think I was hitting a little bit more than that, but that's running at 2.1. This is stock and is sitting hitting 6100. Not bad at all. All right, hope you liked the video. That's my Samsung Galaxy S3, rooted, modded, tweaked, uh, running a custom Jelly Bean ROM.